All right, what is going on, guys? Uh, doing this a little weird today. Uh, the, I did uh, some footage with the GoPro. The sound was horrible, and the the way the the fish eye on the lens uh, it just doesn't look right. I have my microphone hooked up to my iPhone here, so hopefully the audio is a little better. And I'm, it's weird because I'm not used to looking at myself. I got to look here. Anyway, uh, we are gonna do a little tire surfing scene today. Um, I have this here Vega prepping up uh, next couple tracks including nationals I think might be a Vega track I don't know I'm gonna bring the arsenal but anyway I'm I'm used to working on Vega yellow so I'm gonna do that so uh, I thought I'd kind of show you my my homemade tire machine here so basically what we have is an old motor I got from my grandpa's obviously you can go down to tractor supply wherever I, you know, Harbor Freight, whoever carries motors, I affixed it to a simple, uh, a simple switch here. It's a household switch. Yep, that works. Uh, I came, come over here, and what I did was I went to Tractor Supply and I bought a cog and obviously a belt. The motor already had this on, but you can purchase this as well. But I affixed the the cog to an old hub just drilled through and have very basic very easy to build uh, for your do-it-yourselfers uh, some pillow blocks from Amazon obviously a board and a stand to set it on or you're gonna do it on a bench or something so uh, real simple no no high dollar jazz here uh, just I, I thought I'd, I'd bring this to you to show you it doesn't take much in order to do tires at least surface them uh, knowledge about what to put internally uh, I'm not giving up those secrets so <laughs> here we go I'm gonna mount this and uh, show you how it's done Let's set this up make sure all the angles are correct so basically what I'm gonna start off here with is I'm gonna use some 80 grit and some sort of lubricant so some people use Windex I do use a little more high dollar. I use the, uh, the Track Tac Blue Wash. Uh, I think it works really, really good. Uh, is it a emollient or something? Uh, it really gets down in there and, and cleans the pores well. So this is a brand new tire, uh, just mounted last night. If anybody, oh, there you are. If anybody saw, you know, my my Facebook post, I hate mounting Vegas. So uh, this is freshly mounted. I'm just going to surface it real quick, give you guys a, a concept of what I do and. I'm, this face is going out of frame here, so, um, could I just rotate this? Oh, shoot, there's my microphone, see? I'm not a professional at this stuff, guys. I need, like, a, an actual camera or something to, to do this with. So, we're going to switch this on. Yeah, like I said, I like to use 80 grit. Uh, I know other people like to, to fluff them right out. I just got some... 80 grit sandpaper, nothing, nothing special. Spray the tire down. Get all those little, uh, little things off there, the, the mold release stuff. Just looking to, to remove that slick layer. They, they reel from the mold, when it comes off, there, there seems to be a layer of junk on there. You just want to get that off for initial prepping. Uh, it allows the, you know, whatever you're prepping to actually seep down in. It doesn't have to fight through that mold release. Take a white rag, and then I usually, you can almost hear the motor drag down. I push down just with enough pressure that you can hear the motor start to drag and tech. Maybe you know it's getting clean. So that also on a, a dirty tire, if you're surfacing a dirty tire or getting some fresh rubber to the, uh, you'll notice that when you rub the rag over it, it'll start to grab. And then you know you've done a good job. So like I said, this is a brand new tire. Nothing crazy. Just gives you a nice fresh, a fresh surface. Uh, without that mold release on there, so whatever prep you're going to hit it with on the external will bite into the tire. So, a uh, quick video for you guys today. I don't know if this will turn out or not, because everything kind of went fishy there. So, uh, 
I'm talking into the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I might post this up. I might not. All right, guys. I'll catch you later.